in a corner of the city where traffic lights blink in Morse code. There he goes, the man who turned his heart into a reactor. Tony Stark is old hot rod, a blend of elegance and melancholy. Tony Stark doesn't know it yet, but that suitcase on the seat is the only love letter Destiny ever wrote him, with an explosive postscript, of course. Meanwhile, in the black waters of the Pacific, a military ship carries a secret. A race car that never appeared in catalogs. Mac 4D says its side and in the sky. An old sage who's seen too many finales hands out candy and omens. Cars shouldn't fly, he says, as his helicopter slices through the air. Stan Lee, piloting his craft, comments. Fuck oh, these millionaires! Couldn't he bring his toy in a truck like normal people? But no, the rich kid needs his spectacular delivery. The helicopter cuts through the clouds, heralding the arrival of mechanical royalty. Tony Stark's race car needs a worthy transport. After all, why drive it like a mere commoner when you can lower it from sky, like a gift from the gods of speed? Let's keep in mind this isn't just any car. It boasts a turbocharged V6 hybrid engine, rear-wheel drive, with drift tuning just for fun, and enough torque to leave tire marks on any rival's ego. The chassis is reinforced with materials that don't even exist on the periodic table, because when Stark says crash-proof, he really means stupidity-proof, or, as he calls it, just another Tuesday. And there, in the pilot seat, because heroes always leave the steering wheel to others, he watches with a smile that knows too many endings, Stan Lee. Reflective glasses hiding entire universes, a mustache that assign more stories than contracts, and a wink that seems to say, remember kids, every great race needs a great first panel. The helicopter tilts sharply, revealing for the first time the full circuit below, a serpent of polished asphalt and impossible curves waiting to be conquered. The cars are lined up, waiting for the start of this great race where in the end, it doesn't matter who wins, but how spectacular the show turns out to be. Tony steps out of the hot rod, suitcase in his right hand, helmet in his left, two pieces of luggage for two identities, the playboy and hero. And then the race begins, not in Monaco, where luxury and history intertwine, but in San Francisco, where the hills are as unpredictable as destiny. Here, between neon and asphalt, the wind doesn't ask where you've come from, only where you're going.
And then there's him, the kid who turns nightmares into jokes. Hey, Tony, from up here, your car looks like a bullet. At this rate, you're going to break more than just the sound barrier. Just do me a favor. If you're about to go flying, give me a heads up. I want to have my camera ready. Up above, a bat watches from the top, whispering to the wind. We all carry luggage, Stark, but only you need one that's bulletproof. Stark, always so loud. comes through the back door. With metal boots and a grudge heavier than his armor, it falls like an overdue bill. Hello, Tony, whispers Ivan Van Gogh, or maybe it's the ghost of Obadiah Stane, or perhaps it's just us watching how a man learns that suitcases always open again the journey.
Full of thrill 